Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create animated background in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, I'm going to bring a background in the timeline. We're going to go over to the effect library, generator, and here in fusion generator, we're going to bring contour down in the timeline. So here we go. Now you have an infinity of possibility of what you can do. You have six starting points. So this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So then you have all those possibility, uh, play around with the parameter, um, and you're gonna come up with your own stuff. Um, like there is just too many possibilities for me to give you a, a comprehensive review. It will take uh, way too long. But for example, let's take this one as a starting point. So here I'm going to change, for example, the pattern from Mardial to Cross. It gave me already something way, way different than what I started with. I'm going to bring uh, a bit less layers and then I'm going to move the position of the overall uh, composition like here I'm happy with the position you could uh, change for example the colors um, and that's pretty much it let's just say that it's a background that I'm happy with for now now we're gonna do the animation for that we're gonna need to go over to fusion so let's go up right here and click on the button that's gonna bring us to fusion so here you can select again the contour and we have again all the parameter right here in the inspector and we're gonna start to do some keyframing to do that we're gonna go and open the spline editor right there then we're gonna go on the zero frame right here and start to put our first point so for this one i think what i would like to animate will be the degree so i'm gonna do that right here i'm gonna add my first keyframe point and then i'm gonna move over to um let's say the 20th frame and here i'm gonna change the degree uh, to something smaller or bigger Let's do something smaller, like here, it's fine. As you can see, it added two points down there in the spline editor. I'm gonna select those two points right here and hit the command S to smooth out the animation. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna select again those two. And here I'm gonna go down to set ping pong. What it does essentially, it create a loop animation of that background so you don't have to worry about it anymore you can extend it without problem and the animation will always be the same and basically ping pong um, between those two i've made another video on the subject uh, so i'll put it in the description if you want to see more uh, you can also here set loop which is a different possibility so let's play it right now and see how it goes so it seems to be pretty good nice now let's just move back to the edit page now if i want i can extend that background and the animation will remain throughout the entire composition so let's play it as you can see everything seems to be pretty good everything is working it's bouncing as you can see the keyframe from the different entry that we put the cool thing is now if you want for example to change the cross back to radial I can do that, the animation will remain and just the overall look will change. So as you can see right now, the animation still works, but we just switch from um, cross to radial. Or we could do the same with square. Uh, we could do the same with uh, linear, so on and so on. So it, there is just so many possibilities, so many options. Uh, it was just to give you the step-by-step -step process on how to do that uh, on your own. But then for the different look, you just have to play around with uh, the different possibilities right here directly in the contour generator. All right, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment if you would like to see a more in-depth video of me making a couple of different backgrounds, for example, to give you some ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.